Hi, my beautiful Pisces. How are you guys? Cross watches, third parties. What's up? So Pisces, Pisces, my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign. You guys, this is going to be a channel message. I just wanted to go into this because I kept hearing this song. I don't know who sang this song. You guys, let me know in the comments, but the song is, Can we talk for a minute? Girl, I want to know your name. Oh, hey, go. Can we talk for a minute? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on, honey. Somebody wants to talk to you. Yes, okay. I see somebody wants to talk to you. Um, they're asking, can we just talk for a minute? I don't know if you got this person blocked. I don't know if you just walked away from this person. But why do I feel like this is not someone new? This is someone from the past. This is someone that you've already had a connection with. This person I'm hearing. Can we talk for a minute? Girl, I want to know your name. Oh, what is going on? Yes, I feel like this person saying that they weren't able to, oh, it's like, because in the song it says something about when you got around me, I just, I went just like to being a baby. I just couldn't talk. Oh, it's something about when they're around you, they freeze. Like, this may be somebody that you wanted to express emotions and feelings. This is somebody that you wanted to open up, like, please open up to me. Like, you wanted this person to open up to you. But for some reason, when they get around you, they just can't talk. They can't talk. They can't talk, honey. They're like a baby. They just they just go back to, like, mm, they don't know what to say when they get around you. I feel like you got this person. Mm. Whew. This person is definitely hooked on you. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're stuck on you. Let's see what's going on. What's the message? What's the message I need to get to my beautiful Pisces? What's going on with this person? Yes, Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords in reverse. Oh, my gosh. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Knight of Swords coming out in reverse. Oh, my gracious. So, this person seems... Uh, look, I'm going to show you right now. What they, look at this person. They look mad. Oh, my God. Look at the person. This person is angry. Why is this camera not focusing? This person is angry. This person feels like they may have something to say, but they feel like it's like I'm going to say what I got to say. Like you're going to hear what I you're going to hear what I have to say. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm seeing. You're going to hear what I'm ha I have to say whether you like it or not. Someone's very like someone's feeling very irrational yes right now five of cups you see what i'm saying wow okay there's regrets there's regrets about not communicating something not saying something this person does have a lot of regrets about something that they did not communicate something they did not say to you what in the heck i feel like it was very, very difficult or hard for this person to communicate or talk to you. And also, it could be like this person finds it very hard to talk to you about their emotions and feelings because this person comes off as a little emotionally immature, like in regards to their emotions, Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that Pisces, what happened here in the Knight of Swords, this person felt like you were talking over them. This person felt like you were telling them how to feel or you were telling them how they feel. That made them really angry. Thank you, Spirit. So I don't know why I just heard that. Like, Spirit is saying that you said something to this person and made this person very furious and made them very angry because I'm hearing you don't know how I feel. You don't know how I feel. Do not tell me how I feel. Like, you don't even know how I feel. And they feel like you may have tried to, there's an energy of forcing someone to say something or say something that they did not truly feel. This person feels like you may have that. It's an energy where someone feels like you tried to force them to say something that they didn't truly feel. Or it's like an energy of forcing someone to say something. So someone was just, they're coming up as a knight. We got the knight of swords. We got the knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. So the knight of pentacles here, there's an offer here that this person wants to come in with. But... They're coming in very slow. Let's see. This 
person is wanting to offer you something, reciprocate something to you. They want to show something to you. This person does want to come out of some type of, they want to come out of, they either want to come out of some type of disappointment here with you. Like it's like recovering from something disappointing. I do feel like this person may also be very disappointed in some way that the way that they may have acted towards you. So someone's, someone was very like, yeah, someone was very like reckless with their words, very mean, very nasty in the past. And they do regret how they communicated with you. And I feel like now they're wanting to come towards you in a more responsible way. Like they're like, I, I want to take responsibility for how I, how I got upset and how I communicated with you. I just felt like, you know, you were talking over me. You were telling me how I, how I was feeling and that was not the case. That was not true. It made me feel very irrational. It made me react really crazy or say things that was not you know, that was just not smart at the time. I was just very irrational. I'm like, I'm hearing this person, say, person telling me to tell you that. They were just very irrational. Like, I don't even think they meant half the things that they said to you. They did not mean it. Like, this person saying, I did not mean what I said. I did not mean what I did. Or I did not mean what I did not even say, you know? So, they're coming towards you in a more respectful, mature way. What do I need to let Pisces know about the future of this connection, this person? Yeah, six of wands here in reverse, you guys. In the sun. Okay, my gosh. Ego. Ego. This person's ego um, in their pride may be getting the best of best of them right now. I feel like this person may be caring too much what other people, uh, you know, may... They're caring too much about what other people may feel about this or what they may say. Um if they come towards you with this offer, you know, if they offer you this, if they reciprocate something to you, like they, they care too much what other people think. This person is someone who's letting their ego get the best of them right now when it comes to having some type of victory or success with you. Wow. This is someone definitely from the past past is what it looks like. This is someone from the past past. So someone wants to definitely come out of some type of you know, shit storm with you. They definitely want to recover uh, emotionally something here with you but they care too much about what other people are going to say because there's something about like um, the limelight, other people being around, some type of attention that they'll get from this or how it will look. I'm hearing how it will look if they come to you because it would be admitting that they were wrong. It would be an energy of admitting that, admitting some type of wrong in a situation. Wow, that's sad. That is so sad. That's the blockage. It's really, really sad. It's like not wanting people to see them for who they truly are or for what they truly did or seeing the truth of the situation. We have the overall energy, though, is a chariot upright. So this person is trying to move in a better direction. They're choosing a new direction. They're trying to choose to come towards you, um, speaking up speaking up about something, saying the right thing, doing the right thing, doing what's right, the moral, morally right. Um, but I do kind of feel like, yeah, I feel like there's something that I need to tell you here because that six of wands is the ego. Yeah, this is the ego. And this is also something about like recognition so don't get mad when I tell you this, but someone may be coming towards you to wanting to talk to you and communicate with you because of the recognition that it will give them. Like, I don't know. It's not, it feels like it's a very selfish energy where if I'm, if I communicate with Pisces and talk to Pisces in such a way, it will give me the attention that I would like. Like, it's almost like bad press and good press. So someone wants to have a conversation with you. Someone wants to talk to you. Someone wants to recover with something here with you. And they want to do something responsible so that they get good press. Ah, y'all, I'm here so that they get good press, honey. Like the press, like the news, the out, the news outlet, the other people, like they need good press. So they'll be getting good press from you if they do this. But then there's also this energy of hypocrisy, like, you know, feeling like a hypocrite. I don't know why, but it's also this energy where I don't know why I'm picking up that this person may even feel like a hypocrite, especially from this night of swords. Like they feel like a hypocrite. I don't know. Y'all, y'all know I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing with you, but it's an energy of like also feeling like a hypocrite if they 
decide to move this way. If they decide to move in this direction, if they choose to do this, um, yeah, this person is going to feel really stupid. They may feel like dumb or they may feel like they look stupid for doing this or it, it's just, wow, it's just not a good look. It's not a good look. It's how they feel. I just heard that maybe someone, there's, there could be, for some of you guys, not all, there could be someone urging this person to do this. Like, I urge you to do this because it will make you look better or make you, put you in a better light. They know that. But the sad thing about all of this, Pisces, if they put themselves in a better light, then it also makes you look better too. So, Oh my gosh, this is so selfish. This person, their ego, they're letting their ego and their pride get the best of them. They come off as a little like, mm, like, uh, yeah, it's, it's weird. Doing something for themselves, but then at the same time, they know that you deserve it. But they're too caught up into how it's going to make me look. So if someone already says something bad about you, and then they turn around and have to say something good about you, then it's going to make them look like a freaking hypocrite. It's going to make them look like a liar. It's going to make them look crazy. Um, it may put them in a good light or in a better light at this time, but it also is going to ultimately put you in a better light too. That's what's going on here. Woo, okay. Can I talk to you, baby? Come on, come on, talk to you, baby. <laughs> I want to talk, I want to talk. <laughs> That's what this person is. They definitely want to talk to you. Okay, so I want to start right here, honey. We're going to go into the extended reading, and we're going to see what's going to be the outcome of the situation. All right. Thank you, my beautiful Pisces. Look down in the description box if you want to see, if you want to know.